What's going on guys? Joseph Mills with Automator here today to show you the brand new Dashlink OBD2 module. Dashlink is an innovative solution that allows you uh, by simply plugging into the vehicle's diagnostic port uh, to display virtual gauges on any Android or iOS tablet. You can see anything that is on the vehicle's data bus displayed through a number of screens, either traditional gauges, bar graphs, whatnot. Also full data acquisition, GPS track mapping, we've got friction circles with G plotting, uh, as well as the ability to read and clear diagnostic trouble codes. Uh, so we're going to plug this device uh, into our cameraman's uh, lovely uh, 2006 Lexus here and uh, see how it works. So setup is super easy. All we do is plug the wireless module into the OBD2 port on the vehicle, open up the Dashlink app. We uh, select vehicle right here. We go in and we put in our year make model. Uh, today we've got this 2006 Lexus IS 350. Uh, it'll validate the PIDs against the computer system and we're pretty much set up and ready to go. Uh, that's literally all that it takes for the, uh, for the basic setup. Now there's a lot of customization we can do as well. Um, so we have our standard dashboard screens here, which will show us everything that's going on in the vehicle. Here we've got real-time horsepower, torque, and we can tap on these and change to see different parameters uh, that are in there. We have a fuel economy mode right here. We can see all the stats since our last fill up. Uh, we can see what's going on in the data bus, things like coolant temp, and again, we can switch through different ones uh, here to see exactly what's going on in the vehicle. Uh, again, totally configurable on the back end, but we set up some really neat stuff right out of the gate. Uh, we have configurable gauges on here. Uh, this is worth noting, you see, we're able to tap into a factory wideband on here. Um, to see uh, exactly what the air-fuel ratio is, uh, one of the most affordable ways that you can go about doing that. This is our performance screen right here. Uh, allows us to see quarter mile, thousand foot, eighth mile, 60 foot time. Uh, we can track all of that on there and play that back uh, through the uh, data acquisition features. Uh, we have a data grid function. Uh, where we can see everything that's going on inside the vehicle. We can check out all of our different PIDs, add, remove, and data log those as well. Now perhaps one of the most fun features on here is the skid pad function, uh, which allows us to see uh, exactly how the vehicle's moved around. So we are going to go test out that skid pad function real quick here. And that's in real time, that'll show exactly what kind of loads the vehicle is seeing as we go around the roundabout here. And it tracks all that, so we can see our max setting. So 0.91 lateral G's to the left there. All right, here's our zero to 60 function. We're gonna reset this here and we just accelerate to start. So. That 5.8 zero to 60 in the old Lexus. Respectable. So here's our racetrack data logging function. Perfect for time out at the racetrack. Gives us real-time GPS mapping, or uh, in our case, just a spirited drive through the country. You'll notice the rainbow graphs as it senses more G's. It shows us how hard we were accelerating, decelerating at different parts of the uh, of the course, if you will. 